Hello. <sighs> right, guys. So I woke up at um, five. Okay, when I looked at my alarm, it was five fifty-eight a.m. But I know I woke up around like five twenty, five thirty. Um, I have a headache still. Um, I feel hot and cold. But don't worry, I do not think I've got coronavirus. I just think uh, I'm coming down with a cold. Anywho, um, it is early. It is early, guys. I think it is six something. Wait, let me ask Alexa. Alexa, what's the time? Oh, sorry, no, Alexa is not connected. Oh, Alexa. No, Alexa is not connected to the internet, guys. So I'm going to guess it's like... 6 20 uh the sun is beginning to stream and i hope it streams in my room because it's pitch black in here i'm using a lamp to record this anywho guys um this is a new channel a new idea and we'll see how we go i think the whole purpose of it is to actually get into the swing of uploading so it doesn't feel daunting so it, it feels natural and we can just be ourselves and just chill, you know, um, and have conversations because me and Easy often have lots and lots of thoughtful conversations. So we just thought, you know what, let's just, let's see what happens. It was his idea. He kind of forced me. And I was like, hmm, but uh, yes. So he did not really explain what we spoke about. <laughs> so if you guys watch this, you're like, what is this guy going on about? So I will explain it, right? So we were having a conversation yesterday morning about the story of Adam and Eve. So um, in Christianity, I know in like other religions, there's different versions, but in Christianity, the story goes, well, this is what I know. I'm not a Christian, guys, but this is what I know of the story. So please feel free to correct me if I'm just chatting rubbish. Um, so Adam and Eve are living in paradise. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's at peace, you know, they just have, they have no knowledge. They're just roaming the paradise as two free human beings wearing no clothes. You know, maybe Eve has a leaf covering up her bits, I don't know. Um, they are tempted by the ser serpent, which is the devil. And um, they eat from the tree of knowledge, right? So I made the suggestion and I said, what's really fascinating about that, actually, is you know humans have always been tempted by knowledge so to me it kind of feels like especially with me actually my knowledge often like my logical mind often gets in the way of my spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs you know um the minute i hear something you know i'm just like really i don't think so like how can that even happen you know, how can Moses walk through the water and it all separated? The Red Sea separated in half for him. It was like, you know, I just can't really believe it. And that's my struggle, you know. Um, so it's just, so I said in a way, you know, it's interesting that, that they were tempted by the tree of knowledge because they ate the apple. Well, that's the Christian version. In Islam... I don't think that it says an apple. I think it just says they ate food or, or, or something. They ate from the tree, but they don't specify it's an apple. Um, but in, in, you know, popular culture, it is an apple, right? In like those paintings and stuff. But anywho, I said how it's really interesting because it always feels like knowledge. The more knowledge we acquire, the more we question religion, you know? Because I feel like my logical mind gets in the way so much. Um, and we also discussed how with them eating from the tree, right, they had knowledge now. You know, they weren't just two beings in paradise. You know, um, oppositions were created, good and bad, God, devil, you know. Um, and God brought people down to choose, you know, good or bad. Um, so I was, we were talking about how kind of there's no escape between these, like, oppositional binaries you know it was created through adam and eve the idea of knowledge faith good evil 
you know, the, the tempting serpent and the praising God. Um, so I was just, we were, and then we were linking it to spirituality and the idea that with a lot of spiritual people, they try to um, let go of the idea of binaries, you know, something being good or bad, right or wrong. Like they, like Buddhism, you know, it's about being neutral to chaos. Um, but I was talking about how, you know, if you were, I mean, I don't know, if you believed in elements of spirituality as well as, uh, you know, Christianity or Islam or any other religion, it kind of is interesting because spiritual people are trying to get away from these binaries. However, Adam and Eve, the first humans on earth, they created it for us. Is there really an escape? You know? Um, can you really just let go of that? Can you just, you know, meditate and and just let go of things taking such a huge, a huge effect on you? Can you stop seeking knowledge? Can you stop seeking right and wrong? Can you stop judging? You know? Um, so that was our conversation yesterday. So I'm explaining it because uh, if you guys just jumped on his video, you'd be like, what the hell is he talking about? Um, so yes, wonderful humans. How many minutes have I been chatting for? I do not know. Oh my God, it's been six minutes. It's going to take forever to upload. Anywho, wonderful humans. I love you lots. And the next video is easy. It feels weird calling him easy because I call him by his real name. Um, but I'm going to have to get used to it. Okay, I love you guys. I'm spreading light, joy and love. And I believe in this world. If we spread more love, we will triumph all. Even serpents and, you know, clashes in faith. Love is powerful. I love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.